Good day and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at my free to play Wyvern team and basically take a look at everything you need to build it. So we'll start first with how to get the characters. Uh, it's pretty straightforward actually a lot of these are going to be via connections or via mission campaigns that you have access to as a beginning player. Uh, so we'll start off with obviously uh, Montmorency, Alexa and Crozet. All three are easy to get. Uh, you simply get them from the connections which you can make with various characters throughout your gameplay. So it's very simple, you access it here from the home screen. Zigrit or uh, Sigrit, uh, but it's Zigrit, uh, you will get actually from the initial hunt missions that you do. So when you start the game it will give you a pair of hunt missions uh, or set of hunt missions for Wyvern it will actually give you a copy of Zigrit so you should be able to start your game off pretty well you can if you want to speciality change the Alexa but the only speciality change you have to do is for Montmorency you need to make her angelic Montmorency it just makes it much better it's also easily accessible the Alexa one requires you to buy a key to a story event uh, and then unlock it to then do it to then get it and although it is an increase and will make it more efficient it's just not worth it if you're a new player it's 900 sky stones you don't need it now if you want to do it just for the sake of doing it go for it and let's talk about equipment and artifacts so for crozet pretty straightforward we're using a health gear set uh, this is a set of health gear pretty straightforward it's given to you by the game uh, so it's given to you as a part of your beginner rewards the ring is actually from a second set of health gear that's given later on uh, but you can use the first set as well uh, which is actually a bit better depending on how it rolls but uh, here it's pretty good the effectiveness will help you uh, so i highly suggest you use it i had just upgraded the other one but i'll finish this one off and put it on now just so you can see that we are going to be using the same set so crusade is very easy uh, in terms of artifact you are going to want to use this four star artifact if you have it available uh, this is the steadfast gatekeeper and it's great because it reduces the damage from elements slash uh, elite slash bosses whilst also providing a five percent defense buff for the rest of your team so it's very very helpful if you are struggling and you're looking for a free-to-play option uh, you can just use proof of valor it will give you a flat 15% damage reduction, which will downgrade to 7.5, which is a bit of a higher damage reduction for Crozet himself, whilst sacrificing the slight defense gain for the rest of the team. In terms of skills, only the S2 is one you really need to upgrade, the rest are just for a little bit of damage, but realistically it's just his S2 and then up to, uh, I believe it is rank 3 on his S1, for the effect chance if you are still struggling in terms of getting his effect to proc. Ideally you want him to have 65% effectiveness and you want that on all of your characters because they're going to need that to get their debuffs to proc. And the reason you need your debuffs to proc on Wyvern is if Wyvern does not attack your tank then you're going to run into issues. Now Alexa is also pretty good. She's also rocking a set of starter gear with some slight changes. We have a level 70 amulet and we have a tower uh, a automaton tower ring so those are the only slight changes uh, the ring actually I think this is a PvP ring the ring needs to be effectiveness uh, again the easiest way to get the necessary effectiveness for your characters the 65% is going to be pretty much to buy yourself a bunch of rings uh, from the PvP shop uh, or from like automaton tower uh, it's just a lot easier because then you can guarantee that they're effectiveness rings uh, which tends to help out a lot and enables you to obviously ensure that you meet the required stat. Uh, mainly on Alexa and all our other damage dealers, we are primarily looking at critical hit percentage and crit hit chance, uh, aside from obviously attack being a main stat, uh, and of course as well looking at hitting an effectiveness mark. Once you've hit that effectiveness mark on all of the damage dealers, uh, being Alexa and Zigrit, you want to make sure that you roll the rest into crit hit chance and crit hit damage. In terms of her skills, you can go a little bit further on these like I have, uh, but ideally, again, it's that S2, getting into the point where we have all those effect chance increases because we need to guarantee those poison procs from her S2. 
Next is Angelic Momo, uh, or Angel Momo, as she's commonly referred to. Uh, a couple interesting options here. So mainly with Angelic Momo, uh, again, starts a set for a bit of health. Uh, so you can use a bit of health there. You will see I have a speed set on her. You can use the starter speed set that's given to you if you want to. Uh, I went for the Wyvern gear because I was already using the starter speed set on another character, but you can definitely use it here uh, on Angel Momo. Uh, ideally as well though, if you do need to, you can just use the resources from the uh, starting kind of resource batch that they give you to build yourself four Wyvern speed pieces. They don't need to be anything crazy, just have HP on them. So HP on them is pretty much all you need. In terms of artifact, we're using Stellar Harper here, but uh, there are some better options. Uh, so Stellar Harper is nice because it can get your debuff upon getting attacked, which is okay from the AoE attack. But ideally, you want something a bit better. Wondrous Potion Vial is a bit better here. That chance to just remove a debuff at the beginning of every turn is pretty good and just pairs up really nicely with her overall kit and allows you to remove some of the debuffs and just keep your team pretty cleansed and in good shape against Wyvern and just keep yourselves in a good position. Otherwise, uh, maybe look for something that allows you to regenerate a bit more health uh, or proc a bit of a heal in an AoE capacity because uh, Angel Momo does not have AoE heals. Uh, that's just the case. And then finally, obviously the last unit, the one you're gonna invest the most into uh, is Zegret. So Zegret, uh, not that you need to, oh, by the way, sorry, just uh, for Angel Momo's skills, the reason I didn't cover them, we are going to be using the Grace of Growth. So Angel Momo will be Grace of Growth. This allows us to save on resources effectively and better use them for the other characters who we might need to go a bit further on, especially Zegret. So Zegret is uh, pretty straightforward. So her and Alexa are Daydream Joker characters in terms of artifact, but Zegret in terms of gear needs to be where you put most of your resources. You're gonna get from the uh, adventurous missions and from the hunt missions themselves, uh, basically a bunch of currency to reforge your gear and to make Wyvern gear. And you need to make a good Wyvern set for Zegret, ideally speed set. And then you can buy from the shop, which you can see I've done, uh, the crit set from the PvP shop. So crit set PvP shop will be great. It gives you the effectiveness and needs and some great stats. And then you build a Wyvern speed set, also ideally with good stats for her being crit hit chance and crit hit damage. Again, she does not need uh, the effectiveness because she's going to get all of it from the ring. And then in terms of awakening gear, uh, you want to ideally get a decent one that will augment her guillotine and allow her to proc the extra sever chance uh, but yeah that's basically it now in terms of the battle itself uh, it is a fairly interesting battle uh, so to say obviously you want it to run on auto uh, and if you get the team pretty close to this you will be able to run it on auto uh, with relative ease uh, now, one of the ways to improve the auto running is very simple. You could improve Zegret, although she's pretty much maxed out the way she is, or at least uh, she's at where you want her to be. Uh, but Alexa is probably the next pinpoint, uh, as obviously Alexa has a starting attack set, so you could just easily change one or two of those pieces uh, for better variants, and you'd probably sit with a much better version of Alexa, and thus an easier Wyvern 13 run. Or when I say easier, I mean faster. Essentially, uh, everything now comes down to how quickly you want to do Wyvern, more so than the act of doing Wyvern itself. Uh, the important things when it comes to beating Wyvern with an auto team is obviously getting those procs. You can see there, getting those debuff procs, getting the bleed, getting the defense break, getting the poisons, are all gonna force Wyvern to attack your tank. You'll see Steadfast Protector procking a ton there. Uh, Steadfast Gatekeeper obviously allowing him to just tank super duper well which is great uh, also his own barrier will come into play and will come into play if we have characters hit below the 50 percent mark uh, and yeah obviously the big thing is beating wyvern before the barrier or expiring the barrier uh, so that wyvern uh, obviously doesn't proc their kind of one hit enrage kill uh, but you shouldn't have a big issue with this uh, at this point the damage from alexa and zegret is more than high enough and you should be uh, well pretty much good to go uh, generally speaking, it works out pretty well. And just to show you guys, I do have a little clip of the uh, auto runner being at 9 out of 10. Uh, just so you can see that everything works fine. You can see their Wyvern 13. 
but yeah uh, basically just augment Alexa if you want a bit more speed but otherwise this build works pretty well and consistently uh, yeah bye